Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. A closed steel complex in Mpumalanga is finding new vigour as an industrial park by focusing on providing key facilities for special service companies. Production at the Highfelt Steel Complex in Mpumalanga was halted after the steel producer was placed into business rescue in April 2015. However, a business strategy was set in motion to convert the steel complex into the Highfelt Industrial Park and to see the park capitalize on its strategic location and key facilities. We've decided to convert Everest Highfelt Steel and Vanadium into an industrial park, Highfelt Industrial Park, uh, that gives an opportunity for businesses to come and um, operate from the industrial park. We've got utilities available, we've got infrastructure and security in place uh, to support businesses. Any business who comes on site are able to reduce their time of setting themselves up uh, to the time when they will be operational and that is part of the benefits that we provide at Highfield Industrial Park. We've been fortunate, uh, yeah, in less than a year of being operational, the park has already set up a sustainable business, which we are very excited about. Uh, and from here, it is just further growth and establishing this uh, prime industrial park uh, that we know is sorely needed to uplift the surrounding community and also to support the economy of Mpumalanga. Key features at the park include infrastructure such as electricity and water supply. The park has a direct 350 megawatts MVA supply from state-owned power entity ESCOM on the Megaflex rates. It also has a direct supply of reasonably priced raw water supply from the municipality through a dedicated highfeld owned pipeline. Other infrastructure includes on-site sewerage facilities and water purification facilities to deliver potable water. Energy and chemicals group Sasol supplies methane-rich natural gas, while gas produces African oxygen and air liquid, with plants situated on the premises, can supply industrial gas such as oxygen, nitrogen and argon. Other features for use include canteens, parking, change rooms, a clinic and an accredited training center. To date, Highfeld Industrial Park has operationalized a 24-month contract manufacturing agreement with steel giant ArcelorMittal South Africa. The agreement sees AMSA provide the raw steel and Highfeld toll manufacturers the final product. Within the next year, we want to see all our workshops being rented out. Um, so we're inviting engineering companies, uh, companies that support the mining industry, uh, all those to come onto our site to have a look at the facilities that we have in place. Our workshops have got uh, cranes, uh, with various loads, so we'll be able to support their businesses as they come and take up shop here at Highfeld Industrial Park. To date, more than 17 units at the park have been leased. As of October, 34 units including offices, warehouses, storage facilities and workshops remain available. Highfeld's private rail siding has further been developed as an export terminal for coal with a road-to-rail strategy. Mokoya Supply Chain Holdings is one of the tenants currently using the rail siding facilities. Coal comes in via road trucks and it's been tipped on, new, on different stockpiles for different lines and from there on it's loaded onto the trains by front-end loader. Mokoya Rail Operations Manager Dirk Urendal told Engineering News that the use of the facility gave the company a significant opportunity for expansion as well as assisted in job creation. Currently, about 320 trucks enter the Highfall premises daily. Sapiri Engineering is another company capitalizing on the premises offering. We are busy doing the dragline buckets for different mines in the region, like in uh, there's GGV, Groot Goed Gevonden Mine, there's uh, Klein Copy Mine, there's um, Isabanello, there's Middleburg Mine. So we, we're refurbishing all the dragline buckets via VR dragline for, for the mines at this stage. This year, January, we, we kicked off really good. And um, we came to Eiffel due to the fact that there is no other facility available to pick up these huge buckets in the whole region. So Middleburg, Witbank, 
and etc. So these things had to go to Joburg, where this very, it was very cost effective, and um, yeah, we just couldn't do it. The guys couldn't do it. It's a lot of cost saving while doing it here. And the descent, the, the, it was central, access was good, so we are. That's why we choose Eiffel. A training centre has also been opened where learners from the local community are being trained with funds sourced from the construction centre. We are doing uh, skills trainings. Um, we are created with a um, couple of centres like your construction centre, um, QCTO. Um, then uh, we are also accredited with Meseta. So we can train from a um, short skills program to an apprenticeship program. We got a lease agreement from Highfield uh, last year, towards the end of last year. So it's, it's going to run and for the next coming six years. We have all the facilities or, or resources that you need from, from a training center. Um, we have about eight trades that are running here. So there's basically nothing that is not here in terms of equipment. So what are the trades? We have your electrical, electrical um, instrumentation, um, fitting and tanning, fitting, boiler making, uh, metal rights, and then uh, we can also run construction trades here. Highfeld went down, COO, further explained that Highfeld aims to capitalize on its strategic assets. We basically still have our two iron plants that's ready for sale. Uh, iron plant one with three open arc furnaces, 10 kilns, plus a raw material feed system, as well as the tapping bay that's still untouched. We also have iron plant two with one large open arc furnace and three kilns that we can still sell either as an iron plant or any other metallic material that can be produced there. You know, chrome comes to mind, manganese comes to mind. However, that will take a process through the environmental department to have a different material processed through our, 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 our asset. The other asset that's also still for sale is a steel plant, as well as the flat product area. The whole flat product complex is still up for sale. Highfield Flat Products Mall can produce up to 300,000 tons of plates and 650,000 tons of coil a year. The park also has a fully equipped vanadium slag crushing plant, which is designed to produce vanadium beneficiated from titaniferous ore deposits. A portion of the slag crushing plant is currently rented out as part of the lime facility. Highfeld will also capitalize on three resources, which were historically stockpiled. We still have half of the high titanium resource available. This is a resource that contains up to 31% titanium oxide. It's quite valuable and uh, that's one of the resources we still need to sell. We've already sold uh, our lime resource, which is a, a very high lime material, also contains some, some metal which is now being recovered and then the lime is being screened out and this, the lime that they screen out they sell as a product. So that, that, that resource is sold. One of the resources in process of being sold is basically the uh, material that was stockpiled as part of the vanadium extraction and that resource is still available. It's a high iron vanadium resource. And that is still available, although we are in the process of selling it, the final sale will only be done most probably in two and a half years. Selling of the stockpiles has also enabled Highfeld to start the Highfeld Remediation Trust Fund. The fund will assist the park in remediating the sites once the stockpiles have been removed. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.